first somehow I became, I was introduced or recognized as a one Lama from my own birthplace in Minyak. Which is uh, very close to uh, in Tibet, Darzado, in Chinese, Kangding, or Tachinlu, China border, Tibetan China border city. So I was there as their Dulgu for, I think, nearly about two years. And later, somehow, Tibetan Daeb delegation came to search their reincarnation of uh, the, the previous tribe Jamga. So they got, uh, at the end, uh, people decided that I belong to, not belong to the Minyak Lama, but uh, to Taib. So they brought me to Taib. And so this way I became, since my age, or since with age number, f uh, age five, I became and uh, lived there about seven years and uh, mainly I have to learn how to read, how to write, both read and write. And then without uh, instruction about the meaning of the text, just uh, reading and write. And then with the age of 14, uh, I think that was 1952 uh, or three. I went to Lhasa uh, because uh, very close to Lhasa is the biggest uh, monastery in Tibet, Drepung, and I need to enter into this uh, monastery and studied uh, about another seven, eight years, and then I escaped to India with uh, uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama's group, same together. And I uh, spent some years in Dharamsala and later he appointed me as director of Tibet House New Delhi. And I worked there about almost two years. And after that I was invited by the uh, University of Bonn Germany, that time West Germany, uh, before the reunification. And uh, then I worked at Bonn University as Tibetologist, uh, research fellow, and I give also uh, lessons or teachings at the university, last uh, 38 years. So now I retired since that time, and now I'm reaching uh, to more or less 80 years, so I enjoyed very much with my uh, retirement. And uh, then, uh, besides, I also give some teachings at the universe, at the Buddhist centers in the various places, and I lead a Tibet house, which is culture center, which we that we opened. Uh, 2005 in Frankfurt, and uh, I'm trying to give them some support. Uh, I'm quite interested in writing, and uh, of course, uh, to reading, and then sleeping. And then, if it's possible, as long as possible, I'm trying to sleep. But otherwise, uh, I'm trying to write and reading. And, uh, I'm uh, mainly my interest is uh, history and uh, biographies, not only for the spiritual persons, but uh, historical persons, uh, especially lay persons. They are uh, tremendous, outstanding Tibetan lay persons. So I very much interested in reading their biographies. Unfortunately, my uh, English and German knowledge is uh, not so good to reading, so therefore I always read in uh, Tibetan, my own language. So that's uh, 
sort of summary of my uh, past uh, 